Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. In this video, which is course 530 in my Building Websites with David playlist, I'm going to show you how to create a new page on your WordPress website with the Divi Builder by cloning an existing page and then modifying it to make it look the way you want it to. I will also show you how to add this new page to your menuing structure. This video is a live recording of a teaching session I conducted with the site owner of a Lions Club website, so you can follow along during this session, and afterwards you ought to be able to add your own new page to your WordPress website with the Divi Builder. Okay, here we are on a website that has been built with the Divi Builder, and I'm going to demonstrate how to add a new page and add that new page to the menuing system. We're not going to add any content to that page at this point. The content is something that the website owner will need to add. The first thing we need to do is be sure we are logged into the website. When you're logged in, you will see the black bar at the top of the WordPress website. And when you have Divi, it will say enable Divi Builder or Visual Builder here and you'll know you have the Divi theme. We're not going to worry about editing with the Divi Builder at this point. We're going to add a new page. And the first thing to do is to come over here to the dashboard. And I'm going to click on the dashboard drop down there. And here we have the dashboard. Now, we can show you in another video, which we'll do later, what to do about all these numbers in the red circles. But those are updates that you need to make. We're going to come here to Pages, and we're going to come over here and drop down to where it says Add New. When you add a new page, it will bring you up to the New Page Edition box. And if you could see the tab, which is above the recording area, you would see the twiddle. Now we are on the New Page Add page. First thing you have to do is add a title. Now, Greg is here with me. Greg, what do you want as the title for this page? Metro Libs. Metro Leos, that's really all we need. Okay, now because this is a page and not a post, we don't have to worry about categories. Let's go through here. And when you're on this page, if you want a featured image, this would be the place to add your featured image. Right in here, you Click that to drop it down, and you would go over here to your media bin and pick the image or add the image there that you wanted. At this particular time, we're not going to add a featured image, but I'm going to publish this page so it will be live on the website and there's nothing on it. When you click publish, you got to get this extra checklist, and I really don't ever use that. And I click Publish again. And now, if you see down here in the lower left, the page is live on the website. However, the only thing about it is it's going to say Metro Leos. The next thing I'm going to do is build the layout using Divi. Use the Divi Builder. I click on that, and it's loading up the Divi Builder. Yep, there it goes. We've got the twiddle. This is a Divi twiddle. And now we get to choose from building from scratch, choosing a pre-made layout, which we don't have any saved ones now, but there's a huge library of those, or you can clone an existing page. Let's try that. Let's yeah. choose clone existing page, and this will give us all of our existing pages. And there's, it says 111 of them, but that may include all the posts. Yeah, those are posts so far. See, it says post, post, post. Yeah. Yes. Categories, projects, events, pages. Here, let me click on pages right here, and that will show us our pages. And there are 18 of them that we could clone. Metro Leo's Meet MCSB. Sample only. We don't want to clone that one. About Us is possible. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the one that's just golf might be the one that we would want to try. Otherwise, we'll just build it from scratch. But I'm going to try golf first. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to click on that one, Golf. It's loading it up. And then it will give us that page with the whole thing on it, except we are now editing up here in the title bar, the URL. I don't think we show that on the uh, recording. But now we can come here and we can just edit it as if you were in Divi. Lions Club of Madison, Mississippi Golf Tournament. Well, I'm going to click once. I'm going to click again. Hit the Home key. Hit the END End key. And now we're going to type in Metro Leos. M-E-T-R-O Leos. That's all we need for that one. I don't think we want this green background because green is for golf. Mm -hmm. But what we have here is we have a section and then we have a row. Mm -hmm. And the, row, the section you can see has a green background. The row has a column with an article and a column with a photograph. Mm -hmm. And you can change that. And then it's got another section here. And it's got another section here. And this section has three columns and in each column we've got a a button and we've got a image and then we've got a text module then we got another button module and then we've got our sponsors down here which we could leave in there or not and i don't think we should because these are all golf sponsors yeah, no, we should. so what i think i'm going to do i'm going to delete this section trash can i'm going to delete this section Trash can. We don't have our sponsors, so I'm going to delete this section. Trash can. You can always add stuff in. I'm going to delete this section. Trash can. All we have left now is this one section that we can add more later. Let's wait, wait, scroll all the way down to the bottom. That is still there. Oh, it is, isn't it? Thank you. Here, we're going to hit the trash can again. Boom, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Now, let's come up here and change the background color of this section. We hit the cog wheel, and that brings up the section settings. Background. Do you want a background color for this? Right now it's green. I could click the trash can, and there will be no background color. Or we can make it a different color. I'd like for it to make it a different color, because that would make it more distinct from some of the other pages. Okay. Do you? I'm going to take this and drag it around. Let me scroll that down. and Watch this little area right here, and we can see what that is as I drag that. Oh, you can see it behind the, uh -huh. the whole section. What do you like? Do you like a brown, a red, a yellow, a green, a aqua, a blue, a dark blue, a purple, a lavender, or red? Um, I was thinking either the light blue something like that, or uh, a, a light yellow or tan. Let's... Like a sand color? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's take this slider down, and there's a nice light sand color. You want a little bit more red? Uh, a little more red. Let's drag this a little bit to the left. Where's my cursor? There it is. How's that? I like that. Okay, so we've got a nice sand color. All right, I'm going to check it because that's all we need for the section. The next thing, I'm going to come right here, and I am going to click the settings module. I'm going to make sure I have the visual. See, when you see one of these codes in the greater than, less than, or the brackets, mm -hmm. that means you're looking at the text and you're looking at HTML code. If I click on this one, now you're looking at just text. you're looking at just the the WYSIWYG text. WYSIWYG meaning what you see is what you get. Okay. I'm going to double click to select a word. I'm going to go Control A, Command A on a Mac to select it all. I'm going to delete that, okay. and I'm going to say, you need to put your text here, mm. period. And I'm just going to click the check mark. And you're going to come back later and edit that one. Mm. Now on this one, I'm going to click that. I'm going to click the settings icon. I'm going to click the picture. Let's look at the media library. And you probably have some Leo pictures in here we can use as a temporary one. Do you see one? I don't know. 
But I had any Leo's pictures in there. Okay, well, I'm going to... Wait, wait, wait. Far right. Right there. Okay, we're just using that one as a temporary, and we're going to click on the Upload Blue button, and that becomes your Leo's picture. Click the check mark, and that's all there is to it. This page, we have now cloned an existing page. We have changed the title. We have changed all the content to placeholder stuff. Yes. And you're welcome to go in and redesign this. You can come in and put a new row below this and put uh, a column with the image on the left and the text on the right mm -hmm. and just fill it up with whatever you want. But that's okay. pretty much all there is to creating a new page. All right. uh, I'm going to show you how to add it to the menu system next. Okay. First, we need to go into the Save button. And quite frequently, when I come back to a page, it says, You have unsaved changes. Do you want to reload them? So I'll click Save twice, and that pretty much will yeah eliminates that i do that just for safety that okay I check mark saved. is there we're going to come up here we're going to exit the visual builder now we're going to come back to the dashboard and we're going to come to appearance and we're going to come to i clicked and i didn't mean to click menus where's menus there's menus menus now, we only have one menu, but we want to make sure we have the correct menu selected. And this is a main menu. And the uh, page that we just added was Metro Leo's, and that's right up at the top of the most recent yes. tab. Now, this is a tab because you have a tab here. View all is a tab. Search is a tab. Mm -hmm. But most recent is the one that comes up by default. I'm going to click on Metro Leo's, and I'm going to add it to the menu. Now, you need to tell me where you want it on the menu, because what we have here in this menu is the whole thing. we got the home page, the about us page, the news page, and all these are submenus under news. You can see how they're indented. We have the event calendar page, the join page, the contact us page, and what we just added, the Metro Leos. Where do you want it to go? Do you want it as a top-line menu item, or do you want it as a submenu? Let's... How about sub under home? That'll be fine. Okay, so I am going to drag this all the way up to the top. Just going to click on it and drag it up to the top. Now, if, you, if I put it here, it's going to show up on the top line menu equal to home. If I drag it to the right one notch, now it's going to appear as a submenu under home. Okay? Okay. The only other thing we have left to do is to save the menu. Okay, I have a question. Go ahead. What's the difference in that one under home that says Metro Leo's and one that's further down that says Metro Leo's News? Metro Leo's News is a blog page. I'll show you that when we okay. go back to the menu. All right, let's go back to the website. And if we just click on the name of the website right there. It will take us to the home page. Now we notice under home we have a down arrow and it says Metro Leo's. Okay. If I click on that, that's the page we just built. If I go over here to the news, news. and I click on Metro Leo's, these are all the articles uh -huh. that you have posted that have Leo's as their category. Okay. And there's two of them. Okay. So let's go to home. Metro Leo's, and when you want to come back here and edit it, make sure you're logged in and just click Enable Visual Builder, and you're off to the races. Okay, let me ask you a question before you leave there. Go ahead. Should we put, should we leave Metro Leo's under Home or under News? What do you suggest? This is not a news page. This is not a compilation of articles. Okay, okay so it needs to be under Home. Under Home, and I think... You've got about as many menus, menu items on the top level as you want to have. Okay, so it would not qualify at that at this point to be at the top like that as its own. You might want to move it under About Us because then you would have Metro Leos, and this is going to be about the Metro Leos. Yes. Okay. Well, you could do that. Now you know how. Yep. Okay. Where would I'm just asking for your expertise? Would you leave it at our home, or would you move it to about us? I don't think it really matters. Okay, it yeah. may matter later on, and if it does, you then now you know how change to change it. it. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, that's about it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. This will let me and the YouTube robots know to keep these videos coming. 
Leave us a comment down in the comment section below and tell me how you think you might use this material. Be sure to click that subscribe button and then click the bell icon and YouTube will be happy to notify you whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.